Um, how can I make my model more expressive? Well, I have some solutions for you. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna open Unity. I will put the version above me <laughs> when edi editing. So, first things first, you're gonna need a way to import your VRM file to Unity. So, I will also put that link below. When you've downloaded it, you go to Assets, it's on the top of the Unity screen. You're gonna go Import Package, it's about halfway there, Custom Package. And... And depending where you put it, you will <laughs> obviously find a Unity Package file. I'm gonna use 0 0.98.0. <laughs> it will take a long while to load the assets, but it's worth it in the end, trust me. Okay, so here you just put, like, press the import button. You don't have to <laughs> read all those. When it's finally done, it took me about a minute. You're gonna press accept all, and another minute later, we're back. Close the window. <laughs> then on the top of the screen, you can see VRM0. You press that and you find import from VRM0. And you do not use VRM1 or whatever it's called. It does not work with this. So I'm just going to import my current model here and just show how to basically use the settings that I would change a bit to make your model more expressive. Okay, finally, a minute or two later, we're back again. So behind me, you can see this cube. You can just drag it here and your model will be there. If you um, hold and like move the middle mouse button, you can move the model. If you right click, you can like you know, um, what's the word? Rotate it. And if you either scroll or if you want to be more precise, you can press Alt and right click and drag to zoom in on your model. So here's my model. Uh, to go to stiffness settings, there's a little arrow next to the name of your model up left here. You press that, you press secondary, and that will open a bunch more settings on the right. So here we have, for example, bust. It should be on the top here. So if you want more physics to your chest, you can put the stiffness force a bit down. And if you want to add gravity, you can do that. But I personally don't. And a heat radius, I don't know what it does. I think it um, does it so it doesn't like collide with other meshes as easy? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a professional. <laughs> Drag force? I don't know what that is either. But yeah, stiffness force basically makes it so when you move, they bounce a lot more. <laughs> if you want no jiggle, you can just drag it all the way up. Ctrl Z to undo. Uh, if you want to test it, you can press play up here. It's in-game scene, so you just switch back. And then on the top left here, you have the options again. It's not moving. How do you get it to move then, to test it? Well, you click root, you scroll out, and there's a little arrow down here, you see. Then you can just start playing, <laughs> playing around with the physics. Uh, see? There's a little clipping because I put the stiffness way lower than it should be. So we can just go back to secondary and fix that. Put the stiffness force a bit up. There. So now when you try, it's a lot better. It will be exaggerated here because your model most likely is not gonna jump up and down that high and that fast. But if it did, it would still look fine. A typical movement would probably be like... 
that much movement, so I guess I'll keep it there. And now the fun thing you can do in Unity is change the outline color of your model. So you can go to materials down here, then press whatever you want to change. Usually skin is the one that doesn't usually have an outline color that you would want. So I've got mine as just black here. You can't really see, but yeah, but you can just, if you have a blue skin or something, you can put it blue if you want. And you can adjust the thickness of the outline. If you want transparent clothes, which I have here, <laughs> it's not going to be transparent unless you set it that way. So this piece of clothing in Vroid Studio was like 50% transparent, I think. So it looked black, but I brought it here. I went to the texture and up here, it's normally set to cut out, but you change it to transparent with Z right <laughs> or something. And then it'll look like this. So if you want transparent clothing, you can do that too. I might do a HANA tool tutorial separately, but this is other fun things you can do. Remember to press the play button again, since if you try to export it while it's still playing, you cannot, it's, it's not gonna let you, which I've done many times and I've been confused, but yeah. When you're done, you go VRM, and there's export. And then you just basically... I usually just put one to the version. I don't know why it requires me to put a version, but it does. So, yeah, then you press export and just put it where you want to, where you can find it. But yeah, I hope that helped. I'm really bad at doing tutorials or teaching anyone. So <laughs> Sorry.